What we're talking about today is an algorithm or program that allows you to pack directories to a certain size. For instance, uh, if you want to back up to DVD and you want to be as close to possible to the maximum amount you can put on that DVD when you back up, you want to move from lower directories to higher directories and make sure the higher directories have the maximum number of files. And the way I'm doing that is I initially do a LINQ that does an ascending sort and I take all the small files from the lower directories and move them to the higher directories. But I need some kind of algorithm that keeps track of the from pointer and the to pointer. I wrote a demo to demonstrate this. Essentially what we want to do is we want to copy from the from pointer down here in the red and yellow to the to pointer up here in the blue and green. And then once we have all the small files that will fit into the two pointer, we want to step to the next low directory and copy from here to the two directory. And then go to the next directory and do the same thing. And finally go to the next directory and do the same thing. But once we finish this process, so this directory is as full as we can make it, what we want to do is move the two pointer to the next directory which actually is quite a bit emptier if it moved files into this directory so we move from here to here and then in the next step we move from here to here and the next step we move from here to here and then once again we move the two pointer and we're moving from the fifth directory to the third directory and then we're moving from the fourth directory to the third directory and then once again we move the two pointer and this is the last time because we're at the bottom directories so we move from the fifth directory to the fourth directory and presumably these four directories have are as packed as possible and this is probably so empty we're not going to back it up at all we'll just save it till the next series of backups and if you want to see this process in an animation, I created a, a run button, which basically shows how it goes. Kind of cool, eh? But although this sounds like a really complicated process, in fact, we can do it in two simple statements and what we need is a nested for loop. I created a program that tests the actual algorithm and it just has a list box or actually a text box that I do append text to that has quite a bit of room to to write messages and then I have a button and a number of external loops uh, so we can have five or twenty or however many directories we want and then I have a run button to run the for loop test. And basically all the for loop test is, is I have an outer for loop that says the two pointer that we were looking at that was the blue and the green. And it goes from zero to less than the number of loops. So if you have five directories, it go from zero to four. And then inside this loop, we have a second for loop that starts at the number of, of loops which is the bottom most directory and what we're looking at it be four because it's four through zero numbered and then instead of going down it goes up so instead of having an auto increment the way we have up here moving the pointer down we have an auto decrement that's moving the pointer up the way we saw in the uh, graphics demonstration and this basically checks for if the from loop is greater than the uh, to loop. So the, what's stopping this iteration is what the current value of this pointer is. So we'll stop right before we reach the to directory, just like we saw in the, the animation demo. And I'm just writing out messages in the, to show that it works in the list box. So if we uh, compile and run this, 
and say put in uh, five as the number of directories and then do a run you see initially we get a copy from five to zero four to zero three to zero two to zero and one to zero just like we saw in the animated demo and then we move the two pointer down using the outer for loop and then we go from five to one four to one three to one and two to one move the two pointer down again and the inner loop pointer of course always starts at the bottommost directory and goes up you know decrementing so we go to five to two four to two three to two and then finally five to three four to three and then we reach the last possible copy on the bottom two directories and go from five to four so what seemed like a really complicated process when we think about it actually is pretty simple when we implement it in code it's just two nested for loops well I hope you uh, enjoyed this tutorial and learned a lot and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe